morning everyone today it is saturday and sorry to start this vlog out on a bit of a negative note but i haven't had the best week the week started off all right i was being so productive monday and tuesday i was working on this video if you follow me on snapchat you would have seen it's on a makeup bag video i've got coming at the end of the month i spent two solid days filming and editing it and i'm so happy with it so it felt great and then on wednesday i got sick i won't bore you with the details but I've spent the last three days feeling really crap not being able to move from the sofa and because of what I had and like being on antibiotics and stuff I kind of I think I like fell asleep on the sofa and had a nap and then I woke up with the worst neck pain and then that made everything worse and that gave me a headache and I've kind of just been falling apart over the past few days so that is the only problem when you kind of dedicate one vlog a week Normally there's at least one interesting day for me to vlog but this week there hasn't been because my interesting day was supposed to be Thursday and I had to cancel everything. I did end up going to the preview of La La Land. Um, it was like a screening at the Ham Yard Hotel and Ryan Gosling and Emma Stone were actually there and it was a really fun night but it literally like went there, came back, got back into my pyjamas and felt rubbish again. So I haven't really got anything to vlog because I haven't done anything all week and this weekend we have zero plans. So I'm gonna attempt to vlog today but just a little disclaimer, I have no plans. I have no idea what I'm doing today. I've just woken up and had a hair wash maybe I should tell you what I thought of La La Land I want to give it an honest review first of all this film is far too hyped up but that's not their fault I think that just happens and I always feel like when a film's really hyped up you're kind of setting yourself up for a few people to be disappointed so that's something to bear in mind I think it was kind of more hyped up than it maybe was worth I do think they deserved all the awards they won because it's just really different it's like a really old-fashioned musical but with a really modern feel to it. I don't really know how they got the modern old fashioned thing, but they nailed it. The kind of scenery and cinematography and colors and the editing style was all great. I completely understand why they cast Ryan Gosling and Emma Stone together because their chemistry is amazing and I love them both as actors. Ryan Gosling was incredible at learning the piano for the role and I also think he's a really good singer dancer. Emma Stone, as much as I love her as an actress, I don't think she's that strong of a singer or dancer so for me that was a little bit kind of off-putting because every time she sang it just like reminded me that she's not really a singer so that was kind of the only negative i thought about the kind of casting i really loved all the songs and i loved the storyline i agree i've seen some people say that there were a few parts in the film where it dragged a little bit and i do agree with that but i think the second half was incredible and it really picks up towards the end so that's kind of my review i love la makes me excited to go back Okay, I need to eat some breakfast. This is the only problem with being on antibiotics. I have to eat before I take these ones. And you guys know I hate eating breakfast, so I'm gonna now have to force feed myself. I'll chat to you in a bit. I've just been straightening my hair and watching Say Yes to the Dress, which is definitely my guilty pleasure. We are now gonna go to Primrose Hill. I think we're gonna meet my parents in a pub and have some lunch. I really want some soup. I feel like it'll make me feel better and Rich ran to my parents this morning. It's pretty far, how many miles would you say? Five and a half. Five and a half miles, he ran there to get my mum's car because we're gonna borrow it this weekend. Apparently only I'm insured to drive it, so I'm driving this like big automatic car, which is pretty scary. Rich is wearing his new Muji shirt. You found love for Muji clothes. Yeah, so you feel soft. it? It's so soft, who knew? Muji does such good clothes and socks. And socks, very soft. It's freezing today. I've got baby seat in the back. I feel like a proper grown up driving this car. We've come to lovely, lovely Primrose Hill and we're gonna go to the pub called The Queens and hopefully they have some soup. <laughs> over Primrose Hill but we couldn't quite go to the top because it's a little bit too cold today but we're gonna head down there's always a little food market in the school playground and I think it's just finishing they always do really good deals when they're closing so we're gonna go meet Rich and my dad who wandered off with Juno Ace 
Lisa's house and we're eating donuts. What's inside the donut? I'm having a jam donut and a cup of tea. My, my brother-in-law and nephew are gonna make bread. So I'm gonna vlog them because I've got nothing else to vlog today. What sort of bread are you making? White bread, I think. White bread. Crusty white bread. And this is the chef, this is the sous chef. Are you gonna help? No, he's the chef. Oh, he's the chef. <laughs> I, I roll it. You roll it? Okay, I'm excited to see. So, hello everyone, today I'm gonna be baking bread. I'm gonna be baking bread. <laughs> Pouring it into the bowl. I'm doing the next one. And tell me when this gets to a thousand. Okay. You ready? Putting sugar in. Okay. Putting salt in. Another one. Donk. Mm. Well done. Can you tell us what's in it? Flour and butter. What else? Oh, salt and uh, sugar. Good boy. Got some flour on my hands. <laughs> and what's going to happen over here? Nothing until we turn the machine on. Oh. <laughs> Put some flour on. I'm having my bit. I can... Need it, remember? Yeah. And then lifting that bit. Nice. Pizza for him, bread for us. Uh, I'm going to make pizza. Or oh, just a circle. We're rising bread. Where? Where is it? Oh. Because it's nice and warm there. Yeah. Dinner time for Soren. Put it in. Mm. This is terrifying. Can someone else do it? <laughs> What's this going on top? Ham? Roast pork. Pork. Mm. Hello everyone, this is the rich takeover for 20 seconds. We are just left Carly and Ben's, we're now going over to Ben and Gemma's for football and food. I basically just don't want to go home because I've been at home all week. So we're just carrying on the party and going to Gemma and Ben's and chilling there. I'm now at Gemma's house, I've been here for a little while. We've sent the boys off to go and get us. Well, they're getting fish and chips, I'm getting Vietnamese because I had chips for lunch. Chips. Fish. <laughs> Gemma's having grilled chips. <laughs> grilled fish. Now, right, the boys are back. I've got my curry in here and they've all got fish and chips. I got udon noodles with chicken and veg and prawn tempura. What are those eggs? Pickled onions. Pickled onions. Pickled onions. Fish and chips. Fish and chips. I made a bit of a mistake and I ate udon noodles forgetting that they're made out of wheat. Are you sure they're made out of wheat? Yeah, so I've had a bad reaction. I should have got rice or egg noodles. I always forget. This is why I don't eat spaghetti. I only have spelt spaghetti. Because now I've got a really bad tummy ache and I need to borrow Ben's pajamas because my jeans are hurting me. We just watched a really bad film called This Is Where I Leave You. Wasn't very good. Now we're going home. We are home and we're so wild that on a Saturday night we're making the bed. I'm not going to show you making the bed because my husband's doing it in his boxes for some reason. No idea why you're choosing to make the bed <laughs> in your boxes. <laughs> Any reason why? Just feels free. Just feels more free apparently. Right. It. I. <laughs> not it. He feels more free again. Okay. I need to stop. Guys, this is the secret trick when you can't be bothered to iron your pillowcases. Rich, show them, show them. Oh yeah. <laughs> Lie them under the mattress. How long? Until the next two or two weeks. We're now watching Graham Norton because Emma Stone and Ryan... Ryan. <laughs> I always think it's called Ryan Reynolds. Ryan Gosling's on it. Um, so we're just having a quick watch before we go to bed. Okay, time to go to bed and time to end the vlog. I am actually currently testing out the White Company skincare. I'm probably going to talk about it properly in a video I've got coming up in February, I think, on like new beauty launches. So I'm currently giving it a go. This is the Super Balm Cleanser, and I really like it. I'm going to end the vlog now. Thank you for watching. I'm trying to avoid saying sorry if it was boring. See you guys in my next video on Sunday morning, 9.30. I think it's going to be my January favourites. Bye! <laughs>